Well, it is time for me and Shannon to risk our lives here in Bangladesh. What we're doing tonight, we are going to eat as much street food as we can find and hopefully it does not kill us. So, let's not waste any time, let's dive in and test our immune system. We're going to start with something a little bit safer and get a nice kebab. So, this one looks good, this looks kind of Arabic. So, are you ready? I am slightly nervous. <laughs> here we go. Let's do it. Is this the queue? So there's quite a queue, which must mean this is popular. Always good to see. Order here, I think. Yeah, so what can you get? You can get... This is the menu here, you can get... Honey Donner, I have never seen Honey Donner. Interesting. Over here you can get Beef Donner, Beef Taco, Chicken Taco and Chicken Donner. A rice what meal. What do you want, beef or chicken? I'll let you choose. I think... Uh, Chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Okay. And then you get your, of course, your spices and stuff you can add on at the end. You get some chilies, make it nice and hot. No, don't ask me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Look how this is served in a lovely custom made Donna kebab box. Let's open up. It's got a good weight on it, by the way. I was worried that we were going to get like a taco sized kebab. But I think I'm wrong. Wow. Oh my goodness. Feel the weight of that, Alan. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's good. Now, I'm not sure what sort of spice we, he gave us. On the menu board, it did say mild, medium, and very hot. But he didn't actually ask us, so we could be in for a surprise here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wow. The flavour in that is so charred. What's that? The herbs and spices. The bread is quite different. You can kind of see it's a bit more like flowery. It's not like your traditional sort of wrap style kebab, but it really works. And you've got all the, what we call that, cabbage, red onion, and some of the chickens actually like, sort of crispy, which is really nice. Mm. Oh, the chip. Proper Turkish style. So yeah, the bread is a little bit different. When you get a shawarma in the Middle East, they should pick it up and they slap it on the back of the grill and it sort of toasts the bread. That is unreal. Mm. The texture of the chicken is exactly the same as you would get somewhere like Lebanon or Jordan. It's really hard to find good shawarmas outside the Middle East. We've had ones in Bangkok, in China, in the Philippines and they're just not the same. It's more like a chicken wrap but this one they have the taste of the chicken and all the flavours absolutely spot on. That little shawarma cost us £1.40, which is ridiculous. That'd be about, I don't know, about £7 in Glasgow. And after eating that, I'm very tempted to completely scrap this video and go and just eat them all night. Scotland. They look like the best fries I have ever seen in my life. They are as fresh as you are they garlic fries or like some sort of like stuff? I think this is... I think this is... Hey, what? Do you want to try these little... Yeah. These? Oh! Seasoning? Must be so hot. Please tell me where we're getting them. Okay. <laughs> one. fries? Yeah? Yes, one please. Take away, yeah? Yeah. It'll be so hot. There. We also have. Yeah, perfect. What are these? I need meat. Veg Pacora. Veggie? Pacora. Yeah. Pakora. Yeah. Veggie? Veggie, veggie. Veggie, yeah, okay. Getting a little bit of a mixed bag. Yeah, we got that one. Spinach. Spinach. Is this? Mashed with, this is spinach. Yeah. Mashed with the dal, which is, uh, you know, the pals. Yeah. And then you make a paste out of it and then make, make this puff. Oh, thank you, can, you. You can try this one as well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, what is this? Mushroom. Pedro. Pedro. What is this? Those basically are basically onions, fried mm -hmm. onions, mixed with um, 
your, uh, you know, some pals, mm -hmm. basic pals, and some herbs. Everything is veg here. Oh, perfect. Except, like, it, it, it has chicken inside. This is this like a spring roll? Sorry? Is this like a spring roll? It's a spring roll, yeah. but it has chicken inside. Nice. Yeah. What did you take? Uh, two of them and two of them. What did you take? Two of them and two of them. What did you take? Two of them and two of them. What did you take? Two of them and two you know, yeah. places and they make everything fresh here. Oh. You can try it from here. We picked a good space. So I think we picked a good one. Shall we sit up here? Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, what a helpful guy. So we now know exactly what we're eating. Let's get this bag open. The bag's soaked up a little bit of the grease from those chips because they are just out of the fryer. Since the fries are literally just out, slightly empty, we've got a little napkin here to soak that up. Any of the excess oil? Wow. Yeah, so we've not gone very Bangladeshi with this meal, but did you see those chips when we walked by? These, these just look outrageous. Look how crispy they are on the outside. I like how it's still got the skin on it. Yeah. That always means it's a good chip or fry, sorry. <laughs> right, should we go for these first? Yeah. So, spinach and dal. Wow, look at that. Looks good. That's what we're after. Wow. It's got like a very citrus hint, and then a big hint of chilli coming through after you're eating that. The spinach is actually quite a strong flavour. Sometimes it gets lost when you've got a lot of pear spices and other flavours involved. So delicious. So I'm going to try this little onion bhaji looking thing. I think I've had these like loads of times before. Oh look there's lots of big chunks of onion in that. See there all that red onion. That's just... Oh. It's very oily. Very very oily. When you bit into that it kind of squeezes out a little bit. But Beyond that, there's a lot of coriander and onion in this, so it has quite a strong taste. But I think, look at my fingers after just holding that. But I think the oiliness just kind of puts me off a little bit. It is a little bit too oily. But hey, not to worry, we've got these insane fries to try. Let's give these a little go. Look at the crispiness on the outside. I wonder if that's some sort of like batter on the outside of them. They're good fries. These are actually like the chips you would get in a fish and chip shop in the UK, but they're a lot thicker, the chips we have. It's the same kind of taste, it must be similar oil that we're fried in. There's a good amount of salt, the only thing that's missing is the chip shop vinegar. Well, that was absolutely tremendous. That cost 80 taka, which is 57 pence, so that's just how affordable it is here in Bangladesh. But we're warmed up a little bit. We're going to be a bit less of a shite bag and go in and get some proper street food. Are you ready? I am ready. And I was just thinking, that was kind of like a sort of mixed pakora dish that we had. See, to get that in the UK, you're talking like six, seven pounds now, which is crazy. And that was miles better. So literally just as we are crossing this chaotic road, a bus just smashed into the back of a rickshaw with two people in the back of it. Kind of puts me off the idea of getting in the back of one of these things. And just like that, they're all away. I know the bus is off. And the police, the police officers were there when it happened. So we had a little wander around and actually almost everything is like all snacks and stuff on the street food cart. So and here, this is good. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go a bit different, scrap the street food, and go and eat in a restaurant. So this man has told me to come in here. Okay. It's good. Okay. <laughs> oh, he has no shoes. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. I'd like some tasty food. Yes, yes. Come. Something yes. nice. Okay. Yeah. 
Rice. Rice. Vegetable fish chicken, not on this. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Chicken, yeah, chicken, chicken rice. rice. Chicken rice. Chicken. chicken with rice. Ah, vegetable. Uh, nah, no vegetable. Oh. Chicken with rice, perfect. Thank you. There we are. The ingredients are chicken and rice. Let's see what comes. Thank you. Thank you. Rice. There's rice. so much rice. That's a lot of rice. <laughs> 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 nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness, look at the size of these chunks of chicken. Right, who's going first? Do you want to try first the chicken or the rice? <laughs> well, we've got a lot of rice to get through. Nice and fresh and fluffy. Yeah. Take a little bit of rice. Where do you come from? Scotland. Yes. You want vegetable? No, no, only chicken. Only chicken. Yeah. This, this no, no more spicy. This oh, mild spicy. No more spicy. Okay, perfect. Okay, this your restaurant? Mm -hmm. Is this your restaurant? Yeah. Um, ah, thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So the guy in this restaurant keeps bringing more and more food. Look, we get a <laughs> plate of cucumber? cucumber and chilies, and now I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's like onions. Yeah. And little veggie balls. God, I wish we'd had that kebab before we came in here. But anyway, Sharon, give us a little try of the chicken. Okay, so I kind of tore the chicken off from the bone. If you know me and Alan, by now you know that we hate chicken on the bone. But let's go and try this. I put the lovely sauce on top as well. Mm. One more? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, we'll go again. Very mild curry. And coconut eating sweet. That chicken is so juicy. It's really holding all the flavour. I wonder if it was kept on the rotisserie that we saw as we came in. I am absolutely terrified how much food we have now. <laughs> Why did we go out before? Hi. Um, what is this? Borta, borta. Fish, fish, borta. Uh, oh, fish? fish? This is fish. 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 Yeah. Okay, and this one? Uh, big one, big one. fish, big, big one. Oh, thank you. And? Dal. Dal. Dal, okay. Thank you. Okay, so, there's a little fish ball type thing. Doesn't smell fishy at all. It's quite small, you can see there's little bits of onion, coriander, herbs and spices all through that. And I'm going to guess it's like a lentil or potato kind of base to it to help it all stick together. Very dry, very very dry. So the fish part of that has a texture of like um, canned tuna. It's quite dry, sturdy and stuck together. Yeah, would I rate that? Probably not, probably would order it. It's nice to try it. Yeah. Lots of like herbs and spices, my tongue's starting to heat up a little bit now. There's lots of flavours and textures going on there, but to be honest, I don't really like when fish tastes kind of fishy, so not for me. Shannon, you want to try one? Okay, I'll try dipping it in the, yeah. the sauce. They are nice and coated, so hopefully not as dry. Oh. I like it. Yeah. Well, we will not hang around and wait for Shannon's opinion on that. <laughs> that I think her face on all the talking. Anything to say? <laughs> I love the chicken. Now, I'm not going to make Shannon try the fishy one again. I'm going to try this little thing here. So it looks like a, a seafood salsa almost. You know, it looks like something you maybe put on a cracker or something. There's, there's lots of shallots, lots of chilies. You can see lots of wee red spots in here. Hurry up, need it, Alan. I know. <laughs> I don't really want to try this, but we will. Oh. Way better than the other one. That's that's delicious. I wish we tried this one first. The texture of it is almost as if it's like eggplant blended down or something like that, or aubergine like that kind of thing. Almost 
say maybe a tomato weight. Well, that's fantastic. No fishy taste at all off that. It is really mushy. I feel like this would go perfect with a little bit of like toasted crusty bread. And it is cold. There's no heat in this. Like the other fish ball is pretty warm. So I'm expecting this to be hot. But it's not at all. I'm not sure if there actually is any fish in this. Well, I get lost in translation because it's just, it's almost like a, a veggie salsa. But it's absolutely amazing. Is it actually? Yeah. Okay, I'll try it. I'll be brave. Try the fish ball, which was disgusting, as you can probably tell by my face. But yeah, I'm not getting a fishy taste off. I think you're right. It kind of tastes like like roasted vegetables. Yeah, it's nice. It's just like that mushy, strange texture. It's not really a texture that many people enjoy eating. It has to maybe be served like with a crusty bread or something like that, like Alan said, but yeah. I like that. And I've just spied here a little bit of fish, so yeah, must be. Look. Yeah. See it there? So yeah. It has fish in it after all. The service in this restaurant is ridiculous. They're just coming up every two seconds. See what this? Do you want more? I mean, they're trying to upsell, but why not? The food here is, of course, a lot tastier and better quality than we've had earlier on tonight. However, Sharon, is this better than the shawarma? I have to be honest, no. That chicken has probably tasted like the tastiest thing we've had, but shawarma just. That has the food. Oh. Okay. 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 830. 830. Yeah. So that was 890, which is, what is it, Shannon? Okay. 5.92. 5.92. Not the best meal I've ever had, not the worst. For six quid, so right, we get a lot of chicken, an absolute mountain of rice, and we got to try a couple of new things in our water. So, tips, tips, tips. This is so awkward. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, that was slightly disappointing at the end there. Like, the staff were amazing and... I mean, they actually gave us stuff that we didn't even ask for, which we ended up paying for, but oh well. And then it's trying to hold us hostage until he gets a tip, which I think is a bit unfair. Like, if we thought it was good service, we'd give a tip. You don't have to ask for it. It just makes you seem a bit... I don't know, desperate. <laughs> so there we are, our first experience trying the local street food here in Dhaka. We tried some of the sort of street snacks and kind of get scammed in a restaurant at the end, but that's all part of the fun and really enjoyed actually the stuff that we tried tonight. In total we spent like eight pounds maximum, which is pretty good. You see the amount of food we got, we got the big shawarma, that little bag of snacks, which was amazing. And then that nice food in there, a couple of good massive bits of chicken, so you can't really argue with that for eight quid, so good start on a Bangladesh food journey.